As for me, I, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. To be consumed into the presence of the Lord, and as we seek his face with humility and in a contrite heart, let us turn to him for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you who adored the priest Saint Camillus with a singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor, we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, dear Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was looking after the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, priest of Midian. He led his flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the shape of a flame of fire. Coming from the middle of a bush, Moses looked. There was the bush blazing, but it was not being burnt up. I must go and look at this strange sight, Moses said, and see why the bush is not burnt. Now the Lord saw him go forward to look, and God called to him from the middle of the bush, Moses, Moses. He said, Here I am, he answered. Come no nearer, he said. Take off your shoes, for the place on which you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses covered his face afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, And now the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have witnessed the way in which the Egyptians oppressed them. So come, I send you to Pharaoh to bring the sons of Israel, my people, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, who am I to go to Pharaoh and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? 
I shall be with you, was the answer. And this is the sign by which you shall know that it is I who have sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you are to offer worship to God on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is compassion and love. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion, compassion and love. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion, compassion and love. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion and love. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion and love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We find ourselves this morning with one of the epic stories of the journey of Moses the encounter with the burning bush, the meeting of God. Very often when we look in scriptures, you will find that there are many moments that describes this meeting point with God. Sometimes it's the mountaintop, it's the hilltop, just like today, Mount Horeb. Sometimes it could be the image of one who's at the well, like the Samaritan woman, that encounter between God and humanity face-to-face -face with God. As we step into this beautiful experience of Moses and God at the burning bush on Mount Horeb, we all have these moments in our lives. It's called the sacred space because our life in the journey of our Christian faith is colored by many symbols. It could be the crucifix that we stand before or we kneel before. It could be the image of a saint or the divine mercy that we find ourselves in that moment. 
It could be the blessed sacrament or the tabernacle when we find ourselves in that moment with God. It's a place of that meeting point where we come to face to face with God. When we look at ourselves during these past days, it's, it's, it's gradually going into a moment of pain and misery. Sometimes when we look at things that is un, it's happening around us, there's this fear of what lies ahead of us. Yesterday afternoon, I was on the phone with an old friend and we were having this conversation. And she described this moment that she's going through these past days as pain and misery and loss. And so I asked her if she could find one word that could describe her emotions and her thoughts. And all she said was silence, Father. I find myself in a state of silence in my family, my marriage, my job. It's this silence. And sometimes when we go into this moment of silence, just like Moses stepped before the burning bush in his moment of prayer. That's it. It's a moment of prayer. I'm just going to share with you three things that came to my reflections this morning. Number one, God calls us personally in that silence of prayer. It's always a personal call. Sometimes God speaks to us in a very private, personal way that only you could find that moment in that silence with God. He called Moses in a very special way. Moses, Moses. It's a very personal touch. Just like the woman at the well. Just like Paul on the road to Damascus. It's a very personal invitation. Just like St. Francis at the church of San Damiano. Or Augustine. Or even St. Ignatius at the castle of Loyola. It's a very personal call. That's how we find when we enter into the stillness of silence with God of St. Teresa of Avila at the castle. It's a very private, personal call. That's the first thing that we enter into this encounter of this meeting God face to face. It's always a very private, personal thing. And we need to find ourselves in that moment with God, in that prayer. Secondly, that you find in this moment of this encounter and meeting with God is God will always call us to closeness. Paul, Moses was drawn closer to that burning bush. God will always draw us closer to him in that silence, in that stillness of moment. He will always draw us closer. It is always a moment to be in the house and the presence of God. And we need to ask ourselves, do I find that closeness in my prayer life in this moment? Even in the midst of this turmoil, in the whole moments of misery when we see what's happening in the media, what's happening with the pandemic, what's happening with our lives, when there's a sense of loss and misery and helplessness, do I find myself being drawn closer to that image, to that symbol, to that burning bush, to that face of God? And thirdly, which is the most important point of this prayer encounter with God is that you need to be like a child. Jesus tells the disciples, it's not the learned, it's not the knowledge ones. It's not those who try to comprehend because God is a mystery beyond human comprehension. It's incomprehensible. It's what I call in life to see the invisible God made visible in the moments of your life. You could sit outside in the quiet moments and look out at nature and in the silence you will be with God. You could sit in a moment of silence before the crucifix and in your pain and in the childlike trust you will find God. It's that moment of becoming a little child as Jesus tells us. It's a moment of just two words humility and simplicity of heart. When you let go of everything and say, God, do as you are. And I am here. Because it's what we call in spirituality today, not the outer disposition, but the inner disposition. It's what's inside you, the inner disposition of the childlike trust before God. 
and God sees it and God knows it because blessed are the pure in heart they shall see God blessed are the pure in heart they shall see God the simplicity and the humility let us ask ourselves this morning as we find ourselves being called being chosen by name in our prayer life that we draw closer to God in a childlike trust blessed are the pure in heart they shall see God Blessed the Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may by the example of St. Camillus be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, the name of, of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Camillus and St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With faith and confidence, we turn to God the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries, we humbly implore your faithful love, that imitating by your grace the charity of Saint Camellius, we may also be made partakers with him in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, Guardian, Guardian of the Redeemer, Redeemer Spouse of, of the Blessed, blessed Virgin Mary. Mary. To you, to you God, God, entrusted His, his only Son, son in you, Mary, placed her trust. With you, Christ, he became man. Blessed Joseph to us too. Show yourself a father. 
and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Have a blessed day and do stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.